Over the years, many people have forged and strengthened ties between Japan and Cincinnati. We'd like to introduce you to a few of the more famous ones. Lafcadio Hearn was a journalist who fell in love with Japan on his first visit and wrote many books and magazine articles that introduced Japan and its culture to the West, contributing to the wave of Japan mania that swept across Europe and the U.S. in the late 19th century. Kitaro Shira Yamadani, a ceramics painter who came to Cincinnati to work for Rookwood Pottery, brought with him a Japanese aesthetic that further fed the craze for things Japanese. Etsu Sugimoto was the daughter of a samurai who came to Cincinnati to marry a Japanese merchant sight unseen. Shira Yamadani, Sugimoto, and a handful of other people were pretty much the entire Japanese population of Cincinnati until World War II, when Japanese Americans released from internment camps in the West came here to start new lives. And finally, you'll meet Dr. Kinji Tanaka, a scholarly gentleman who, until he passed away in 2020, arguably did more to foster Japanese-American intercultural understanding in greater Cincinnati than anyone else. One of the earliest and most colorful characters in our story was Lafcadio Hearn. Hearn came to Cincinnati from Europe around 1870 when he was just 19 years old. His early life was difficult, and he was abandoned by his family. He was sent to Cincinnati by train with very little money in his pocket and survived at first by doing odd jobs. In his free time, he wrote about his experiences. Later, the Cincinnati Inquirer invited him to join their staff. He wrote vivid, entertaining stories about the people of Cincinnati. But Hearn was more than an entertaining writer. He helped people to understand those who were considered different, including African Americans and newcomers from other countries. Hearn understood what it felt like to be a stranger in a new place. After spending a few years in Cincinnati, Hearn visited other countries and later settled in Japan, a country he'd long been curious about. He liked Japan so much that he stayed and became a professor and author of many books about Japan. He married a Japanese woman, Setsu Koizumi, and adopted her family name. Thereafter, he was known as Yakumo Koizumi, he was one of the first foreigners to become a Japanese citizen and is famous in Japan today. There is even a Lafcadio Hearn Museum in Matsue, Japan, managed by his great-grandson, Bon Koizumi. The nonprofit Japan Research Center of Greater Cincinnati, founded in 1981, has helped share information on Lafcadio Hearn and other historical figures from Japan in Greater Cincinnati. Recently, the organization commissioned Tom Tsuchiya a Cincinnati-based Japanese-American sculptor to create a plaque of Hearn that will commemorate his time in Cincinnati. Here's Tom Tsuchiya talking about his plans for the plaque. I am sculptor Tom Tsuchiya, and last year I was commissioned by Gary Eith and the Japan Resource Center to create a relief sculpture honoring Hearn. And this right here is the concept that I came up with. The relief sculpture depicts Hearn's life, primarily his time spent in Cincinnati and Japan. Uh, in addition to his portrait, I have a portrait of Cincinnati benefactor Henry Watkin and his wife Satsuko. In addition, I have a little scene right here in the corner showing his time that uh, he scaled a 69 meter tall church to write about a steeple climber for the uh, newspaper, the Cincinnati Commercial. And over here is a depiction of the snow maiden from his most famous book, Why Don. We plan to have this sculpture finished next year after we raise funds. Artists have long played an important role in the cultural exchange between the U.S. and Japan in Greater Cincinnati. From 1887 to 1948, Cincinnati's famous Rookwood Pottery employed the Japanese ceramics painter Kitaro Shirayamadani. Shirayamadani was already an accomplished painter of porcelain ware when he arrived in Boston to work for the Fujiyama Company. When Mariah Longworth Nichols Storer, the founder of Rookwood, came across Shirayamadani, she persuaded him to come work for her. Many people in the West had become fascinated with Japanese art since the reopening of Japan to the outside world in the mid-19th century, and Shira Yamadani brought a Japanese aesthetic to Rookwood Pottery's designs. With his contributions, 
Rookwood Pottery became enormously successful, and in 1900, the company won the Grand Prix at the Paris Universal Exposition, establishing it as the world's finest pottery. In addition to his many artistic accomplishments, Shira Yamadani is believed to be the first Japanese person ever to live in Cincinnati. In 1898, another major contributor to early U.S.-Japan understanding in Greater Cincinnati arrived on the scene. Etsu Inagaki, the daughter of a Japanese samurai, followed her brother's advice and came to Cincinnati. The purpose of her journey? To marry Matsunosuke Sugimoto, a young Japanese merchant living in Cincinnati whom she had never met. They lived in College Hill on Cincinnati's north side, along with their two daughters. She wrote A Daughter of the Samurai about her life in Japan and Cincinnati. Later, she lived in New York City, where she taught Japanese language, culture, and history at Columbia University. During World War II, many first, second, and third generation Japanese came to Cincinnati following their release from American internment camps. They were among the earliest members of the Japanese American Citizens League, a nonprofit organization focused on preserving the civil rights of Japanese Americans and all Asians in the U.S. Today their members form the nucleus of the Japanese community in Cincinnati, and they have been instrumental in maintaining a Japanese cultural presence here. Finally, we'd like to introduce you to a Cincinnati resident who established several additional Japan-related nonprofit organizations decades ago that still have a big impact today. Kinji Tanaka was born in 1928 to Japanese parents living in China prior to the outbreak of World War II. He first came to the U.S. as a professor in 1959 after earning a doctorate of engineering at Kyoto University. In 1975, he helped establish the Japanese Language School of Greater Cincinnati and served as its first principal. His wife Reiko was one of the school's first teachers. Now, on Saturdays throughout the year, more than 200 Japanese kids attend the school in order to maintain their Japanese language skills. Later, Dr. Tanaka also established the Japan Research Center of Greater Cincinnati and was co-founder of the Lafcadio Hearn Society USA. Both of these organizations, along with the Japan America Society of Greater Cincinnati, help educate local residents about Japan and contribute to strong U.S.-Japan ties in the region. We hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to some of the people and organizations that have contributed to U.S.-Japan connections in Greater Cincinnati. Thanks for watching.